Hi everyone, I'm June and I'm Jenny. In last week's video, Scott talked about liquids and the difference between the density of water when it's a liquid to when it's a solid, to when it's ice. So today, I'm going to be talking about the states of matter. Okay, and then after we're going to do a fun activity with dissolving lollies to make some nice artwork. So I've got a diagram here that shows the three main states of matter. So uh, the diagram shows you the different forms that water or liquid can take. So there's solid, liquid and gas. The top picture shows when water or liquid is solid and this is an ice block. The next picture shows some water or liquid in a glass and that's when, yep, there's a liquid in the glass there. And the third picture shows some water or liquid molecules floating out of a cup when they've been heated up and have become steam. You can see from the diagrams that the blue dots in each of the pictures are arranged in different ways. The first picture shows when the water is very cold and has become ice. The molecules are lined up and packed in close together. And they're also grouped in a bit of a pattern. In the second picture, when the water is a liquid, the molecules aren't as close to each other. They started to get further away from each other. And in the third picture, when water gets heated up and gets warmer and warmer, the bonds between the molecules are starting to break and the molecules are floating away as they turn into steam. This can happen when you heat some water up in a pot, on a cooktop or in a kettle. And this is when some of the water becomes steam. Can you see the steam? floating out of the cup there. It can also happen on a warm day, and then we say that some of the water is evaporating. The water molecules are floating away from each other. To show you the water going from being ice to being liquid, I've made some teddy bears, teddy bear ice blocks, and you can see them here slowly melting. We'll come back to them later, and we'll show you as they start to melt a bit more. Okay, so now we're going to make our um, artwork with our lollies. So to do this, if you just get a plate, probably like a white or a plain plate, a packet of lollies, and then the water. So the water um, comes at the end when we pour it in slowly. So I've made one here before with a heart, a bit of a rainbow heart, and I thought maybe we could try making another rainbow with a few of the other colours added on. Okay, so we'll just put some rows of colours, but you can do any pictures you want, so you can use your imagination to do whatever you like. So what's going to happen when Jenny adds the water, um, it's all going to mix together. And you'd think that all the colours would just all mix together and, um, you know, end up like a, just a big muddy, muddy colour, but it doesn't. And that's because um, the colours, don't, they won't mix together. Um, and they'll stay as distinct colours and the science behind this is because each of the lollies has a slightly different chemical makeup depending on what colour it is. Um, so when the lollies start to dissolve, the uh, solution that's made with the water and the lollies, for each different colour it's slightly different and they don't mix together. There's a barrier that's created between the different um, colours and it prevents the water from mixing. And um, yeah, so it's gonna make a, a really fun uh, design. So here you go, we've got our heart and the rainbow and I'm really looking forward to seeing what happens when we put the water on.
Something else uh, you can try if you're going to have a go at making some dissolving lolly artwork is you could make your artwork in the style of Vincent van Gogh. So how we do that is um, after we've added the water, you can get something like a paintbrush or an um, icy pole stick or something like that and put a few swirls in it. So let's have a go. Let's have a go. So remember to pour the water just gently into the plate there. Let's have a look. That should be enough. Here we go. Okay, so it's starting to dissolve now. Um, I poured the water in a few minutes ago, so let's try some swirls now. There we go. Okay, you just do as many as you like or as few as you like. You can even pick up the plate and give it a little bit of a swirl around too if you like. Alright, there you go. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed uh, watching us make some dissolving lolly artwork and we'll see you next time. See you. Bye. See you later.